obviously we know that that Powell was talking a lot this week, which I I don't feel like you know again a lot of those remarks were already prepared, but still we saw interest rates kind of creep up into uh, to his comments over the last like over those previous two days when he was speaking. Um, so I think that kind of you know got markets a little bit nervous as we started to hit four point seven ish on mm-hmm. the two year yield. Then across the pond, um, as you know, Tom's getting ready over there. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It just so happened he's not there yet, or at least he might be on the way. But mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. Like shockingly high CPI print causes Bank of England to uh, kind of panic and and raise rates fifty basis points. That didn't go over well. Um, and this is one of the places you know that had stopped, right? Bank of Canada and Bank of Australia also had stopped, and then they started piling on interest rates again. So it's like the whole return of high interest rates is starting to make market's a little bit nervous but mm-hmm. good side bitcoin up 50 percent this week and it's excited about the idea of spot etfs that have been um filed by a couple of different uh, companies so far but it's kind of interesting despite all this regulatory stuff we were seeing just a week and change ago with coinbase and mm-hmm. and uh, what's the other one i forgot i'm blanking um binance um, binance those two were obviously having getting getting uh, suits from the SEC, but now all of a sudden it's like the excitement came back. Big move in Bitcoin, which you love to see. Um, so, yeah. That all being said, VIX below thirteen for the first time since January twenty. Boo, boo. <laughs> Bring back the VIX. Bring back volatility. Boo. I mean, it's insane too because the market's down. You know, it's not crazy down, but it's down enough to where you would think that volatility would be picking up. It's, it's getting a it's, little bit. It's 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 it's, zero, it's, it's back in a sixteen cents. handle. Yeah, volatility futures. The VIX itself is still in the thirteen handle, but yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, uh, I know everybody really kind of you know freaked out on Wednesday when we had the big move down. Honestly, though, it was more big in Nasdaq than S and P. I mean, yeah. I think we might have been down like six tenths of a percent at the most. Yeah. yeah. I think everybody's expecting a little bit of move in the VIX, but didn't quite materialize. I I think we all ever everybody has to understand that the the moves that we're seeing are not necessarily like volatility, you know, realized volatility, right? I mean, we're still ra- wrapped around uh, what the expectation is per day. I mean, a little under one percent is exactly right. what the VIX is telling you. And if you're not if you're getting a thirty point down move, like yeah, you're getting a down move, but it doesn't it's not outside of what the expectation is. The expectation is in either direction, and if you're inside that expert expectation that's realized volatility coming inside uh expectations and that's you know not a volatility move so if you're you know you need you need the 100 150 point moves now to right. get to get volatility to pop because you know that's it's just not there well said my friend that's exactly it let's move to the next slide charts 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 uh, there we go man on the week banks Banks were pretty ugly this week, though. The KRE and KBE mm-hmm. um, had some pretty ugly moves. And, uh, of course, that's what's weighing the uh, small caps down. Small caps and that 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 whole uh, whoever's doing that trade, NASDAQ, small caps. NASDAQ had a little bit of a win um, this week mm-hmm. compared to small caps, but both of them weren't really that, that great overall. Yeah. I, uh, Russell right now down one and a third percent here, down 24 points, basically reversing you know, the last week or so of up move, it went, the uh, Russell futures went from, you know, 17, 50, 60 ish up to 19, 30 ish. You know, it was a 10 point, it was a huge move, 10, 15% move in the span of two weeks. And now we're back all the way down, you know, to the mid 18 handle here. So uh, taking off about five, 6% in the last week. Yeah, because that ratio basically between the two was sitting at like lows that we saw in 2020 mm-hmm. and September of 2020. I always say September because I remember like during 2020, that September, like that's when everything was just going to the moon for a little mm-hmm. bit. And whatever Tesla was at the time, $1,000 or something like that was just taking off. And compared to everything else, NASDAQ was ridiculous. And then, of course, uh, during the dot-com era. So that ratio kind of had hit a crescendo and then it bounced with IWM kind of taking off like last week and change, but reverted once again. It's pretty ugly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and let's move ahead to the next slide. Go ahead, Mikey. I was just gonna say it's it's crazy with like the JPM uh, scenario fiasco that's going on, and it's just, and all these 
uh, KRE, the KRE product itself is, is going down, but you got to think if you're ever trying to get into it from a bullish perspective, like what, what else can really go wrong? You've had all the news, scenario. all the bad yeah. news is out there. <laughs> That's what I feel. I mean, I don't I don't know. You know, like there's people who feel like uh, I, there's like this prevailing thought that if, um, you know, we already had some banks fail, maybe everything is, is kind of lying in the weeds for now. And then another bank fails like in September or something. Right. Like yeah. Kind of like what happened in 2008 with, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Lehman and, and all the others. So and people have talked about that, but I don't know. But however, this is interesting. And this is part of the issue, seems like. I mean, 10 to spread. This thing is getting back down towards the lows, which honestly, I didn't expect to see. I, I thought after we had SVB, I thought it would it was hitting around 50, 60 basis points. And I thought it was going to drift higher, but mm -hmm. now we're back down here. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are looking at putting some more on again. Yeah. That's, that is it's a uh, steep inversion that we have. Yeah. I don't we, know if we steep really, is the right word to use for it. It's a big have, inversion. We haven't <laughs> traded it recently, but... Um, yeah, it might be it might be ripe for a little short there, at least yeah. for the two year. Yeah, we'll see. I know, right? Um, I mean, you guys are better than me. I actually didn't touch this. I touched some of the. I touched it like in January and February of 2022. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. so I left it alone after that. I know. It, I, we were in the inversion for like months. Yeah, we were saying, you know, it's it, it, historically this only happens for a short period of time. You know, yeah. it's got to <laughs> uninvert at some point. Yeah. And uh, we said that two months ago, three months ago, five months ago, six months ago, and it's still inverted. So yeah. uh, sometimes. Uh, Sometimes you yeah. Well, when we look at this chart ten years from now, this year and a half is going to be a short. Oh, it's going to be just a little <laughs> tiny piece. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that goes. Yeah. Let's get to the next slide. Um, I always love looking at this chart. So this is VIX and with a ratio of uh, VIX and a ratio of VIX. And when this thing is really low towards the two level, uh, you know, really high volatility level. When it's starting to shoot up like it is right now, low volatility level, it just shows you even more how low volatility is right now. Mm -hmm. Not quite as low as 2017, but I mean, yeah, I think we're all pretty shocked that VIX is doing what it's doing these days. However, dude, let's just really analyze it. Last three years, absolutely crazy, right? I mean, yeah. 2020, 2021, and 2022, still dealing with a lot of different things, whether it was COVID variants or, or Russia-Ukraine war. So, I mean, this is probably warranted at this point. Like, what's... What's really outside of the honestly outside of the bullshit I just made up about recession? Mm -hmm. What's really to be scared about right now? I I agree. I said the the only thing, we got aliens, we have wars, <laughs> we you know like you got the alien news like the, the and nobody cares and nobody cares. you got submarines exploding. Submarines. I know, uh, right? You know like it, the only thing we have left is the meteor. Like you got to put a you got to give us the doomsday clock. You know like the, that's the next news is like oh there's a meteor coming and the doomsday uh, clock is now one second to uh, midnight and uh, everybody get to your bunkers. Like that's all that's left. Oh, if we had a meteor arriving to Earth, VIX would be 40 for sure. Uh, I don't know. I guess so. We need the aliens, know, aliens, we need like, the aliens to help us out with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like, is the meteor really the worst of our problems? Let's <laughs> 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 move ahead, John. Uh, yeah, VIX would be 40, be 40 for sure. Yeah. Uh, SKU has come in big time. Uh, again, I mean, I don't think people are worried about a cataclysmic event happening. And so as much as we saw SKU riding up, for a while there, it was a big move uh, the other day to the to the downside and mm -hmm. skews. Though things have calmed down there too. Again, on the volatility front, like people are. I mean, if you've been if you've been long puts waiting for the big move, you got, I get you got a little bit of it. You had you had to really try and quickly monetize it, which is always hard to do. Believe me, I know. I've done it many times in the past, and it uh, it probably if you didn't take it off, you got crushed. But. I don't know. Who knows how it's going to end up today? Yeah. I feel like we're going to sit around forty-four hundred. Though I don't feel like we're going to go much further. Yeah, yeah. We're we're sitting around there right now, but I, I agree. It's been. I, I don't know how you've been able to hold short delta over the last you know month or so. Not only with the up move, but with the contraction and volatility. I mean, even on a day like today or this week, how would you get paid on on any long premium with short delta? Can't. I mean, volatility coming in too much. I know dudes who, um, and ladies, who will 
sort of comprise their own theory as to why the market should be down and they'll hold on to those short deltas for sure. They yeah. think this is just the beginning. They do. They All believe right. it. All right. <laughs> Let's we'll go to the next slide. I know how they work. <laughs> but that being the case, look at this. Dude, look, look where this thing is lying. I mean, it's the SPX board curve. Look, it's sitting around 13 to 14. Crazy. <laughs> That's blue. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, yeah. I mean, if this doesn't tell you that nothing's about to happen, even with all these data points that we pull, end of the quarter, obviously, this next Friday, payrolls is coming up after the holiday, uh, during the holiday week. June CPI, which, again, we haven't really moved much off of those in, in quite a while, probably since maybe la uh, beginning of this. Maybe maybe January, December was the last time we really moved off of CPI. We got OPEX, and then we got the FOMC, which there isn't really a bullet point yet. But I mean, this is this is it, guys. Like. This is nothing. Bring back volatility. <laughs> Make volatility great again. Come on. Drop we an alien. It. Drop an alien right on this on yeah. this desk and let's get yeah. some. Give let's us get the alien going. video. We've been yeah. waiting for the alien video. Okay. <laughs> That's a good question. Like all these reports, like oh this this I'm, alien was in my backyard and it seemed like wet and it's like well where's the video? Yeah. Like, pull out your you're, phone. You're, you're on the phone with nine one one right now. Turn well. your phone around and click the button. <laughs> it, it takes twelve seconds. Yeah. Give me the video. Wet. Uh, <laughs> that'll give, that'll give us a forty vix too. You, you get yeah. a, a video of uh, of an alien. Oh, an alien? Yeah, I love it. that's a forty fifty vix too. I'm here for it. I, I'm here for it. I'm ready. I am I'm here ready. for that. I am here for that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move ahead to the next slide. <laughs> Gold and oil, uh, they've been kind of struggling. I mean, I think gold has a little bit of a bid this morning, but both of them are sitting around interesting levels. Gold's sitting yeah. around that 70 level. Gold's been kind of in this channel. And mm. Becky and I talk about this every day. We're on Futures Power Hour. Like between, it was between like six, like 70 and 83, and it's gotten even tighter now. Mm -hmm. 70 is basically fair. I mean, it's, it's interesting. And gold had been struggling with maintaining 1900, but it seems to have got a bounce. Um, you know, it depends on how this day ends up, but the dollar it was looking at four consecutive weeks uh, in the net, in the red, but who knows how the day is going to end up here. It's it's up now, and we'll see what ends up happening. It is interesting that FTC filed a lawsuit against Amazon for violating consumer protection laws, but Amazon did not care. Made all, well, it was like in, five uh, bucks yesterday up. It's like, huge move yesterday. Yeah, it's a huge move. Um, did not care at all. And then Tesla does have its sights set on India. We'll see how that goes. I mean, that could be really interesting. It's uh, Asia's third largest economy. Finally, OJ this week was really interesting. Why we managed the iron fly. Take a look at that. That's all I got, boys. Cool. Love Good it. stuff. Well, thanks for joining us, Jamal. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hopefully, we get a little bit more of this pullback. Uh, we're going to take a quick little 90-second break and come back for the market open. Uh, and then we got uh, this uh, fast, market. fast market. Fast market. Trade ideas submitted by you, the viewer. So we're going to take a quick little 90-second break. You're listening to Tasty Live.